Well, if you think traffic's bad now, wait another 30 years. A new report looks down that road and predicts things won't get better whether you drive or take the metro. ABC 7's Hatzel Vela has the story. Call Christina Radosi a hybrid commuter. Sometimes she drives and parks in Georgetown. Sometimes she takes the bus. More and more people are going to be drawn to the metro area. And even though there's public transportation, just from my experience, I found that it doesn't get you everywhere. When it gets cold in the winter months, the 23-year-old prefers to drive. She knows all too well how easily roads can clog up, but expect congestion to get worse. A study just released by the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments shows because of lack of funding, we won't be able to keep up with the demand for transportation infrastructure. It'll be worse for folks in the suburbs, especially in Loudoun County, where they expect to see a 43% population growth by 2040. Job growth almost double that percentage. It would uh, make me look at living in a neighborhood where I could easily walk or have a quick commute. Not what 25-year-old Sally Stevenson wants to hear. Those behind the study say the answer is simply more funding to fix existing roads and trains and build new ones. But it's also better land use by building more commercial and residential areas near train stops. In the mornings, it's clogged and afternoons are horrible. 81-year-old Fred Reed has been a cab driver since the 1960s. He's not too concerned, but says maybe it'll benefit people in his business. <laughs> I won't be here to worry about it. <laughs>